Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I, I don't know what's happened or why, but all of a sudden my microphone went uh, plus ultra. It just went crazy go nuts, and so I've had to... Yeah, sweet. I looked down at the floor. I'm a gymnast. Anyway, I'm playing Portal 2. Okay, I, I will do that. But here's the thing you need to know before, before I go do that. <laughs> hold up. Hold the phone. Find it and hold it. Because this has been fits and starts, people. Okay, understand everything that's happened up to this point. Number one, I spun the wheel first and it landed on an RTS. I spent an hour of my life playing that RTS, and I realized, of course, that I should never release that footage because RTS fans are a persnickety bunch, and they get really mad at you if you don't play their games right, and if you don't review them correctly. I've had to remove videos from my channel because of the massive negative backlash. Like, almost no one watches my videos to begin with. And the massive, massive negative backlash um, on my videos for RTSs has, has led me to think that, like, it's just probably better. Even though I enjoy RTSs, it's probably better that I not review them. So, I, I'm just, as a policy, not going to review RTSs anymore because I was fully an hour in and I'm realizing that it's not going to work. So, I spin the wheel again. I get Portal 2. I go to install it. It takes, I don't know, 12 days. Like, it took forever to install. And then, all of a sudden, it's screwing up my microphone settings to where I'm peaking at a crazy level where I could be like, hey everybody, and my microphone would be all the way in the red. So I think Portal did something to my audio settings. And yeah, so I'm just having a devil of a time. So please bear with me for this review. Please, for the love of all things holy. Like, I'm going to try and give this the fairest of shakes. I love this art. I'm staring. I'm so... Oh my god, this music is my jam. I'm asleep. Yeah, sleeping is good. Nothing weird is happening. Thank you. Oh no, Aperture Laboratories is experiencing. Do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Sweet. You do, you do feel alarmed. Finally been diagnosed. That is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand? I totally do. Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. 
loving it. Uh. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? Yeah, totally. so much so Super ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery song. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, <laughs> you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Yeah. Sweet. There we go. Now I'll be honest, you Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Sweet. Oh, look at me. I look the same. Yes. All right. Um, showing me things about companion cubes. Okay. So, hooray! Yeah, the original. There we go. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This amateur science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Yeah, I, I bet it will. So, yeah, you can't carry your companion cubes and things through it. Anyway, uh, here's the thing about Portal 2 as opposed to Portal 1. Even though I haven't played Portal 2, uh, I've been saving it. I literally have. I've been saving it because I know I'm going to love this game. I love Half-Life. I love Half-Life 2. Okay. <laughs> yes, there you go. Oh, sweet. Anyway, um, but here's the funny thing, is that the first Portal game was basically just a tech demo, and, uh, yeah, I, I know how to activate it. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Well, that helps me not at all. Let's see. Okay. 
get this companion cube and then I'll drop you for a second put you here and then we're going to activate you and then that'll let us through anyway so because of the technical difficulties we hooray your test environment is unsupervised yeah. <laughs> nice <laughs> ah, nice i love it anyway yeah good sweet uh but yeah the first portal was a surprise hit like they didn't know how much people would fall in love with it and how much like things like the cake is a lie would become like just cultural touchstones and whatnot and so Portal 2 is a much more, obviously, much more of a realized game. Much more of a, like... Hey, hey, it, it. Oh, I did. A portal device on that podium over there. Can't see it, though. Maybe it fell off. Thanks a lot. Can you see the portal, yeah, it's right here. Okay, uh, let's see. Where's going to be the best place for a blue portal? Okay. <laughs> nah, I'm going to be totally fine, friend. Don't even worry about me. Super good. Look at these awesome computers. Ah, uh, but that keyboard is clickety-clackety. Anyway... <laughs> Uh, the fact that it shows you where the portals are now, that's that's kind of handy. Um, wait. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots. <laughs> nice. <laughs> one copy of the laws of robotics to share. Yeah, let me. Boop. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self reporting form. A future aperture science entitlement associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Yes. <laughs> what that means is that you've been murdered by a robot. <laughs> so make sure if you get murdered by a robot that you fill out the appropriate paperwork. Anyway. But, yeah, I love what a, you know, sort of cult hit the first Portal game was. And part of me, yeah, okay, sweet. <laughs> uh, I love the sense of humor of these games. Okay. Awesome. Oh, there's a companion cube. All right. Okay, where's my orange portal? There it is. All right. Good enough. Derp 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 Anyway. I honestly don't know how... Oh, come on, friend. Let's see. <sighs> okay. Well, uh, we're going to need to get... We're going to need to get there somehow. Um, um, let's see. 
Oh, here we go. If you please, just be there. Okay, and um, that's no place. Wait, hold up. Dupe. Yeah, thank you. Any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Okay. Will do. Um, oh, God. Um, okay. So, I'm gonna have to... Hey, let's do one of these. Just for... Oh, what? <laughs> it knew that I was... Okay. I was gonna try a, just a portal death, because I haven't done a portal death in forever where you create a, a portal that you just keep falling through infinitely um anyway so yeah i think one of the reasons i've been avoiding portal 2 for so long even though i purchased it for my wife and she played it and loved it um i think unreason <laughs> Uh, a little bit of Schrodinger's cat business. Anyway, um, I think one of the reasons why I have been... Um, wait. <sighs> really? Anyway, uh, one of the reasons I've been avoiding it is because I knew that... Um, Like, this is a much more intentional game. Uh, not that Portal 1 was created by accident, but Portal 1 was not given, like, when it was being developed, it was not being developed as, like, a main game. It was just kind of like, hey, we have this idea for this, you know, kind of tech demo, and they just created essentially a tech demo that had more of a feel of a game is what the original portal is okay I must stand in this water anyway um uh, wait oh okay I just wait do I have... Where can I create a portal? Nowhere? Sweet. Um, oh. Durr. Anyway. <laughs> I'm not entirely stupid. Uh, alright. Okay then. Hooray hurrah. I don't know. Um, oh, duh. I've got things to potentially activate. Okay. So that drops a companion cube. Um... Okay, and I need, wait, there we go, no, stay on there, you dummy, anyway, Oh, stupid. Okay. There we go. That'll do. That'll 
that'll do nicely. Anyway, there's something very satisfying about the way that Sweet. That's very low power, which is amazing because they're running all of this on that little. <sighs> yeah, I just kind of love the aesthetic of it and the. Yeah, I, I do love the dark humor of a good portal game. And I knew that I would love this one. I, I always knew that I would love it. And indeed do so far <laughs> uh this which yeah yeah laws of physics will probably apply in the future okay um well let's just find out um Okay. Oh, come on. Wait. So I'm going to have to shoot it like... Okay. Wait. That don't make no sense. Um, oh, derp, herp, de derp. Okay. There we go. Anyway. Oh, I need a companion cube. <sighs> now I have to do the same thing with a companion cube. Okay, I'll push you down. Dang it. Dang it. <laughs> okay, well, obviously I can get down here. No. Dag Nabbit. Okay, I'll put you over here so that I can pick you up and we'll both go through. Well, sort of. Oh, we need to be moving at a higher velocity. Obviously. Okay. Now I need to just drop you in. There we go. Now I drop myself in. There we go. Yeah, something very satisfying about civilization. Welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. It certainly does. <laughs> okay, where's my orange portal? <laughs> Uh, I don't know where my or- Oh! Hello! Okay, blue one's obviously gotta go there. So I guess I'm just gonna drop myself down here and find out. Nicely, nicely, Mrs. Johnson. Wait, what? 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 Okay. Well, that's obviously okay. Let's see how we do. <laughs> 
Well, I didn't exactly die, so that's good. Um, hold up. Oh, this is this right through here? Duh. Okay. Oh, and that just gives me... Okay. Well, let's try it again, I guess. Haha. -ha. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you just have to love that kind of stuff so much. Like... To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Please remain calm. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway, uh, yeah, I, I... Obviously, um, what am I going to say about Portal 2? Oh, hey, hello, friend. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun. Oh, the, do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they? At the end of the day. Okay, listen. Let me lay something in here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail. Or I would die. Okay. Uh, we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me. God dang it. Much like the first portal game, once you start uh, creeping around behind the scenes, is when things oh, no. go disastrously wrong. Oh my God! <laughs> ah, love it, love it so very much okay I'm, I'm not gonna go too far into this game because obviously you're gonna start revealing story things and whatnot obviously the first several bits are okay i'm just gonna save game right here um i'm gonna save it right there and i'm gonna exit to main menu yes because yeah we're gonna start getting into um Oh my god. Yeah, many things. Uh, yeah, I, I'm sure I want to quit. Yeah, y you know that you're going to start getting into story elements and things that are not going to be... Um, yeah, that, that are not conducive for a review, that are conducive for a playthrough, a let's play, that kind of a thing. Anyway, so obviously, the thing about Portal 2 that I have always known is that it is a game in which, uh, yes, you have all of the portal mechanics. And in the first portal game, 
you know, when you start going around behind the scenes and start uh, doubting the cake as to her, um, you know, that's when the game really changes. But it um, it's not a tremendously long game, Portal 1, you know, because it's a dressed up tech demo. But it's a tech demo that's dressed up in the best way possible. Like, people love it. I love it. Um, and there's a reason why. It's just so appealing. Like, the fact that it is dark humor with some of the best 3D puzzle platforming that you will ever do in your entire life. And the whole thinking with Portals thing, it's just... Yeah. It is an entirely new video game experience. And it's kind of amazing that they just had the idea. They're like, well, here's a thing that, um, you know, we... Because in Half-Life 2, you have the gravity gun, but you don't have a portal gun. But they kind of took the idea of, like, a gun that changes aspects of the game... And they turn it into something. And boy, did they ever. And so Portal 2 is the much more realized version of that. Obviously, everyone would love them to make a Portal 3. But, you know, Valve does what Valve does. Which is, you know, uh, make everybody happy for a little while. But ultimately leave everyone wanting more. Which I guess is a good thing. It's not like leaving everybody wanting less, you know. <laughs> Like, uh, everybody that I've talked to, I own Mass Effect Andromeda, for ex for instance, and people are like, yeah, don't play it. And I'm like, yeah, I own it. I'm probably going to play it eventually. And they're like, yeah, don't, though. <laughs> so that's an example of leaving your players wanting less. Portal, people want more. Half-Life, people want more, you know. Uh, to the point where, like, people go out and make their own versions of it, Black Mesa and whatnot. Uh, so, yes, uh, the Portal games are just another proud bit of that entire uh, franchise, that entire, you know, uh, Valve as a corporation making some of the greatest games. Just some of the greatest games, full stop. Anyway... Uh, let me put a score on this. Obviously, it's going to be good, because what am I going to do? Give Portal 2 a bad score? Of course not. Of course not. Anyway, give me a second, and, and then we'll be done. All right, people, here we go. Here we go. So, um, yeah, Portal 2, I played it for a bit, and here's what I can tell you. Uh, that number one... It takes uh, what happened in Portal 1 and it goes beyond. Like, obviously, this is the Portal 1 world that has, you know, it's fallen apart. It's fallen into disrepair. And so, what are you going to come across? Crazy freaking robots who have been left alone for God knows how long. And, um... Yeah, and then you have all of the physics puzzles of the original game, plus, you know, a deeper storyline, a bigger, better world. It's an improvement on the original, and the original is amazing, and I love it. So, yeah. W what am I going to say about Portal 2 that has not already been said by everyone? All I'm doing here is confirming what we already know, and that is this. Final score for Portal 2, 10 out of 10. 10 out of a possible 10, Gordon's Freeman. I, I wish he had his crowbar, but, you know, it, it was hard enough to find a picture of the uh, Gordon Freeman from Half-Life 1, because I didn't want Half-Life 2 Gordon Freeman. I wanted old school, you know. Uh, but the thing about that is that Half-Life 1, you don't see Gordon Freeman, you are Gordon Freeman, and it's first person, so you don't actually see him, you don't actually know what he looks like. 
anyway, um, yeah, I, uh, I, I'm remembering now that I had a student who was just insisting that I play Portal 2, just like, come on, you have to play Portal 2, uh, yeah, I, I finally got around to playing it a little bit, and I can see why, here's what we're gonna do, um, now, I am going to have to uninstall it because I can't, you know, uh, I can't spare that kind of space, but I am going to put it in the play next file because obviously it's a game that I should be playing next. So yeah, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, um, Portal 2 is really, really good. Look at this. These are all of my friends. <laughs> like, th there is no one here who is not... Like, I, I think I only have nine friends. Total. And they've all played it. Um, because everyone plays it. Let's see what it's going for currently. Oh my god. Portal 2. Ten bucks. You know what though? When it goes on sale, you can get it for 99 cents. You can. You can get it for a buck when it goes on sale. And so, um, yeah, highly recommended. Absolutely. This is one of those games that everybody plays. It's, you know, a, a sort of rite of passage game. And I wasn't holding off because I was worried or whatever, I've been holding off because, you know, sometimes you just want to savor it. Sometimes you just want to be able to play a game that you know you're going to love and just really, really enjoy it. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> by the way, everyone who's like, oh, you need to play Elden Ring, yeah, I do. Um, I also need to make sure that I have time to play it. And I'm going to wait until I have time to really sit down and immerse myself. So, are you going to see a review of that anytime soon? No, you're not. I I'm sorry. <laughs> do you see how many other freaking games that I have? Do you see how many other games that I need to, like, yeah. <laughs> 513. So, I, I've, I've got a few games that I need to get through first. Oh, look. Gordon. Anyway. Um, Alright, people. That is it for this one. I need to draw it to a close. Uh, Portal 2 obviously highly recommended um get to it it's good and uh yeah that is it for this one people i will see you in the next one okay bye